Hey guys, this video I'm doing is actually a video response to uh, an earlier video I made of uh, about cleaning the soldering iron. And I received a lot of questions about just the uh, uh, more details as far as, you know, when can I, when, when is the tip actually clean, when uh, should it be cleaned, uh, what about if it's not uh, hot enough when I'm soldering. So I just want to answer a few of those questions that I've been receiving over the last few months. Uh, so I brought together a few soldering iron uh, that I have here. Now, first thing is people were asking about if the soldering iron is doesn't seem to be hot enough. Uh, why is that? A couple of things. One is you, you have to keep it clean as I mentioned in the first video. What happened is that like, if you look at the tip of the soldering iron, okay, and this one looks pretty good but what happened is that after a lot of use the solder has a resin core in it okay and the and the core inside when you use it has a resin that will cause the tip to have all the contaminants build up so if you don't clean it what will happen is that that contaminant will prevent the tip from conducting the heat and therefore you won't be able to solder very well and also leaves a bunch of junk on the circuit board when you're soldering circuit board the other thing um, some people neglect to check is actually the tip gets loose Af after you use it for a while just all the contacts you do the tip gets loose so you want to make sure it's tightened up so that it conducts the heat properly Okay. So these are a couple of things that you want to make sure. And also, of course, um, there's wattage rating for all these soldering iron. Like, for example, this one you're looking at here uh, is from Radio Shack, and it actually has a low and high setting. Uh, the low setting is 20 watts, and the high setting is 40 watts. The other soldering iron I have here, which you saw in the first video, this one actually has an adjustable temperature range. And the third type that I have here is just a standalone... Um, soldering iron from Radio Shack and this one's rated at 30 watt actually if you can see it's hard to see but at the bottom here is 30 watt so make sure you get the right one that you need for the project and after you use it make sure you clean it now this one I actually have not turned on yet and you see that there's a blob of solder at the tip of it. That's because in the last video I told you after you use it, feed some solder onto the tip, okay, and then store it away like this. So that's why right now there's a blob of solder on it. I'm gonna turn this on, okay. I'll let that heat up. Now, if you find that after multiple cleaning with the wet sponge, it's still very black and very contaminated then what you can do is get some steel wool or you can use a very fine fine grit sandpaper but you gotta watch out because you don't want to cut through the plating on this tip this tip or soldering tips are made of copper this copper is very good at conducting heat uh, once you basically damage this plating here it will start oxidizing and it will eat through that tip in, in a matter of maybe well, depending on how, how, how often you use it, but rather fast. So what you can try doing is get a steel wool, get some steel wool, and just clean the tip, and it'll clean the oxidation off and some of the contaminants. Clean some of that off. Okay, and then after you clean that up, then you can use a wet sponge and try to clean it with a wet sponge, followed by feeding some solder on it. Okay. And this one here I turned on already. As you can see, let me show you a little better. See how the, the tip has a bunch of black stuff on it? Okay, that stuff you need to clean off. Now it's mainly the tip, okay? You don't need to worry about the rest of the the rest of the uh, soldering tip, only the very end of it where you're gonna be soldering. So we're gonna feed some solder on here. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that the middle, where the black part is, 
solder won't flow on it. That's why you have to get that black stuff off because solder just will not conduct through that area. So clean that up a bit, feed some solder. And you're kind of like priming it. That's what you're going to do, prime that area. So now as you can see, it's a little better. Okay, and if you're still having a problem with it, like I said, you can get um, steel wool. Just clean it up a little bit, get all that contaminant off, feed some solder, clean. And you can repeat this over and over again, it won't damage anything. So now it's looking a little better already. All the black stuff is off now. The other question I got is, after you store it, you know, how do you start using it again? So I turned the soldering iron on, on this other one, and basically once it's heated up, I clean it, feed some solder, clean it, you might want to do it a few times, and it's ready to go. That's it, it's that simple. And when you're done, feed some solder, put it back in, you turn it off. Now, one tip that I would tell you guys is, I want to tell you guys is, um, if you're doing soldering, make sure your iron is hot enough, because what I've, what I've seen people do is that as the soldering iron is heating up and it's not hot enough, they're trying to, and maybe just barely hot enough to melt some solder, and they're basically jabbing that soldering iron on a circuit board and trying to melt it even though it was not the solder tip is not even hot enough so make sure you wait until the soldering iron is nice and hot so that when you feed the solder in there it will melt okay so those are a couple of things I want to point out in this video um, and hopefully it will answer some of the questions you guys have so if, if you have any other questions uh, feel free to um, leave a comment let me know but uh, thank you for watching, okay? Alright, bye.